So here's another, what I think, a soft disclosure. NASA announcement, agency reveals transformer plane which can shapeshift in mid-flight. Hmm. It doesn't exist, folks. NASA has developed a shape-shifting aeroplane which has the ability to transform mid-flight, the U.S. Agent, space agency has revealed. And looking at these, obviously these are not real pictures for those watching, but they're the triangle craft. It almost kind of looks like not so much a TR-3B, it's more of a, like a stealth bomber. But again, it's obviously just a drawing representation. NASA has worked alongside with researchers from MIT to create new jet which could make air travel much more efficient. The plane has wings, which are a mixture of stiff and flexible structures allowing them to change mid-flight, which would make them much more aerodynamic. The wings also much lighter than standard wings, as they are made out of lightweight lattice framework, giving them the density of 5.6 cubic meters. 5.6 per uh, kilograms per cubic meter. Excuse me. Can't talk today. Gay! So with that, like, how does that compare with regular? So down here for reference, regular wings are made of from rubber, have a density of about 1,500 kilograms per cubic meter. So 1,500 versus 5.6. So here we go, folks. Starting to get into the technologies of... We have this lighter weight stuff. Start bringing it out. Start acclimating the public to this so we can start uh, coming up to speed with things. And then that, that could start leading into, hey, we came up with this TR-3B. It flies because it's lighter and it's got this other material. And we found out if you use these, uh, I don't even remember what they call them. Fred Grace in the chat would know what you call them. Um, the things in each corner. They ain't anti-gravity. There's something else. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Fred also says metamaterials, yeah. So, uh, the lighter framework will make flights much, much cheaper and cost-effective, scientists have stated. So here we can start getting cheaper flights, maybe? Will they let this to the public? Or is this cheaper flights for NASA only? Hmm. I don't know about that. Uh, Nicholas Kramer of NASA in Ames in California said, we're able to gain efficiency by matching the shape of the loads at different angles of attack. You can make any geometry you want. In fact, that most aircraft are the same shape is because of the expense. It's not always the most efficient shape. A prototype built by NASA is five meters long and will be able to seat one person. Now here, this is what you want to pay attention to, folks. These kind of look like a futuristic thingamadur. They got the, the wings. They, they, you can tell they're kind of aerodynamic. They, got the, they still look like a functional plane. But this is, like I said, a step. You know, maybe after this, then they'll start showing TR-3Bs. Fred Grace disagrees with me. He doesn't think they're going to come out with TR-3Bs. By the way, he says that those things in the corners are plasma generators. I would like to see, uh, Fred Grace sent me a video, by the way, shout out to you, buddy, of how he developed these and went through it all. Um, pretty mind-blowing stuff, like, and it seems like it's actually simple when he broke it down, but I'd love to see it in action. So again, shape more futuristic, start acclimating that public, bring out this technology. Obviously, this isn't a, I don't, this doesn't look like a real photo, of course, but it is definitely probably a representation of what they're thinking about. It. Anyway, it's in this article, so it's an acclamation there. Well, this craft was hand-built, the researchers say in the future, robots could mass-produce the craft, making it an even cheaper process. Yes. That's the best thing about technology. Things get cheaper, easier, easier to replicate. And people say, oh, you come up with technology, it's going to destroy jobs. It's actually going to create more jobs because you just shift. Like wow, when the Industrial Revolution happened, people were scared of uh, technologies coming out. Oh, they're stealing all our jobs. We can't have that. And, and um, you know, some other cultures actually like banned that stuff and they just they couldn't come up to the standard of living like we got in the United States now because of that. 
just go with it, shift the jobs over. Everybody's going to be happier because you're going to have a higher standard of living. You're going to have a more enjoyable job. It's going to be less backbreaking. I think we get too concerned about change sometimes. Change is always happening. We just have to go with it the best we can and make things work. Uh, Steve Jobs made great innovations in Apple. On you know, I love the Mac OS operating system. I always said it on the show. Windows is junk, I think. I love Mac. It's solid. doesn't have like a lot of the issues. doesn't constantly update on you. You can actually delay the updates on like Windows. Side issue, what I'm getting at is he saw an issue with the way how hard things were and wanted to make them simpler and came out with a great product, what people love. Um, you know, is that tied? Is he tied in with the cabal somehow? I was looking at that the other week too because Steve Wozniak even admitted this is the co-founder of Apple back in the day. Admitted they put they, they were like, oh, we, we bought these parts and we we're going to put it on, sell it to the the uh, computer places for five hundred dollars. But it's like they had to charge some extra for some reason. And then they decided to charge six, 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 six. So six hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-six cents. Well. Why would you do that number? Why didn't he do like five, 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 five? It, it doesn't make sense. He kind of just, I guess the interview didn't break any of that down, but why is it there? I don't know. There's so much multifaceted stuff. Is there something where if you're like, like even in uh, Hollywood, if they deal with all this occult stuff for some reason, they get all this power and take over stuff. But uh, yeah. Shane Goodwin in the chat says tech uh, drone tech is already going down the path of that shape. Highly efficient, apparently. Yeah, uh, no uh, more advances. I mean, we never thought of the day where you could have a drone. You could sit, fly it out so far because you're seeing that in real time. You know, you think about RC cars, but that's like low technology where you got you can actually hook your phone up and see where the drone is and have real time. Because if it wasn't real time, it'd be hard to fly the damn thing. That's crazy stuff. I always like. What we can see of technologies advancing and can actually live in more of a utopian society. Now, can it be used for bad? Yes, but I also have a lot of good stuff here if we navigate it correctly. Bad idea.